What is up everybody, this is Ronnie, your go-to instructor if you want to learn how to design with Canva. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create animations in Canva and how to control the length of each of the pages of your animations. So if this is for you, let's get going. If this is your first time here, this is the channel where you will learn how to design with Canva. We have over a hundred tutorials already on the channel. So if this is for you, subscribe, hit the bell button. So every time we publish a new tutorial, you'll receive a notification. Okay, now that being said, let's jump into Canva. So let's analyze what I have here. Okay, so this tutorial is really for people who like to play around animations in Canva. And I've seen this question over and over in our Facebook groups. How can I control and adjust the length of each of my pages, of each of my slides in my animations? And it doesn't seem to be uh, to have a button here in Canva to actually uh, control the length of these animations. You seem to be at the mercy of the five seconds that Canva gives you as the, the default uh, duration for each of the slides. So if you don't want to use this default uh, duration for all of, all of your slides, how can you control them? How can you create fast animations like this one? So I'm going to be playing it again. So animate at your own speed. So there is a simple trick that I'm going to show you. So here, uh, first I'm, I'm just going to decompose uh, what's here on this slide. It's just a bunch of different text uh, boxes, okay? And I have applied several effects. So first, the effects, a text effects, one of the new text effects, I apply the neon effect, okay? This and here we have two different text boxes, one on top of the other, and I've used a, an animate effect, which is the neon. Okay, so here are the new animate effects for um, all elements, I would say, in your design. It works with text, it works with elements, what works shapes, and um, all sorts of elements that you might have on your design. But what I want to show you is that you have one, two, three, you have nine, uh, no, you have actually eight animation, like setups, settings that are free. Okay, so these ones right here. And then we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven that are not free. You see the little crown right here. That means that they are pro effects. So animate uh, just got a new set of animations, I would say, for uh, your designs, for your objects, for your for your text boxes. So here I'm using the neon kind of like this flashy thing right here. It gives me a cool effect. Um, but you don't have to. If you don't have Canva Pro, you can use the other effects. Uh, this is something available to all users. So that means if you are creating animation, you might be in the same case. How do you control the length? So let's stop beating around the bush and I'm going to show you the secret or the hack to actually control the length of your uh, animations is to insert a video. So you can see here, we have different videos. It doesn't matter which video, just add a video. Okay, whoops, don't move your text like I just did. Okay, so you have your video, make it smaller. If I add this video to my mix, this is what I have, okay? I have my video playing here, my text doing its thing with the effect in the background, but this video will be playing for 15 seconds before we change to the next slide. So let's see, 12, 13, 14, next slide. All right, so what I want to show you is that you can really control this length with the trim button. So you can trim this to two seconds, for example. Click done, and then let's preview this again. One, two seconds, and then we change to the next slide. So that's good, but hey, Ronnie, I don't want to see this video here. So guess what? You can reduce the transparency of this video to zero and boom, you don't see any video. So if you pay close attention, you will see that I already had a video transparent here and you didn't even notice. So I'm going to get rid of this one and I'm just going to bring the transparency back to this one. See, it's the same one actually, uh, but I already trimmed this video to 0.5 seconds, which is the minimum. 
So you cannot trim uh, shorter than half of a second actually. So that's the minimum length that you will have for any given slide. But the maximum length, uh, I don't know what is the maximum length that you can actually uh, play a video for on Canva, but uh, some of the videos are pretty lengthy. And if you don't find a video long enough, you can always create yours. So you see this one, for example, two minutes almost. So I'm pretty sure uh, for, especially if you're using this for animation that you will be able to, to find the right duration. Okay, so let's continue seeing what we have here. If I click here in the corner, you'll see my little hidden video, my little hack. And this one is actually 0.5 seconds as well. Next slide, I have my video here. And this one is 1.5 seconds. Okay, and then the last one also have my video. This one is 1.5 seconds. So this is how you can control the length of your slides, of your video. What I want to show you is, let's say this, you see it plays for 1.5 seconds. I wanted to make this way faster. I would just speed my video here by trimming it to 0.5. Let's see, click done. You see the, the size of the total video has been adjusted. Boom, it's much faster. If I want to make this longer, I will trim this to, let's say, three seconds. But the animation, let's see. Okay, so what's going on here is that the, um, the effect on the text is the same length, but the slide remains for a little bit longer. So a couple of things to notice. Uh, the first thing is that if I speed it up, it will speed the effect on the text, which has a, uh, I would say a custom or a default duration, I imagine. But if I speed the whole thing, this effect on my text, which is, uh, I believe, animate the stomp effect. So this stomp effect is about a second or something like that. But if I if I trim my um, my entire slide here via my video, if I trim it to 0.5, then this slide, see again, yeah, will be animating much faster. All right, so this is what I wanted to show you in this video. I'm sure you will have plenty of ideas of new things to play around with now that you can control the duration of every slide in your animations. So uh, to recap, just insert a video, uh, get rid of the transparency and control the duration of your slide with the trimming feature for that specific video. That's it for me. Uh, I hope this video was useful. If it was, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. We have plenty of other videos that you can watch. And that's all for me. I wish you a very creative day and I will see you in the next video. Look at this dude.